Okay, in the last video, we were looking at Notify. Dot SH or NTFY, which allows you to do push notifications to all your devices. Uh, we looked at using their server, and I do promise showing you how to set up your own server in the future. Uh, but I actually just wanted to go over some more stuff I didn't go over in the first video. So let's jump right in. Here is their website again. And if you didn't watch last, I, I recommend watching last video. Uh, but real quick, uh, you can send and receive stuff using Curl, their app, their web interface, uh, and but there's more. So... Uh, let's look real quick. So I have the app installed on my device. I can click on it here. Let's go ahead and last time we talked about fixing battery optimization. So you're going to turn off battery optimization for this. That means that it's going to allow it to keep running in the background, which you want to because you want to get your notifications. Shouldn't affect your battery that much. And using this for all your push notifications allows you to have one service running for all your push notifications rather than multiple services, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and click fix now. And you can see ones that are not optimized, and you want it to be not op optimized. So let's go to all. Let's click here. Let's type in NT, uh, F, Y. There it is. And we will say don't optimize. Done. Okay, we can click back until we're back in the app. And so now it will definitely be running in the background. You don't have to worry about it falling asleep. Let's go ahead and uh, look at this. So I'm subscribed to two things right now, FBK and Films with Chris. Just using them for testing. Uh, something that uh, we didn't look at the last one. Let me go here and let me go to Films by Chris. Let me type that properly. And I'm going to minimize the app here. And uh, so again, you can send a message here. So I can say test send and it will show up here you can see on my desktop and on my mobile device i can go ahead and click on that or swipe it away let's go here and we hit this little up in the web interface uh we can set a title i can say new photo uh, i can say message i can say photo of me and uh, then i can send all the i can do tags i can do priorities uh and we can do click uh your click your clickable url we can forward to email attach url i want to look at here we can set delay so i guess you can set the message to go out later on uh but i'm going to say attach a local file let's choose a picture here of me and i'm going to say send and right there it comes through and uh it's on my desktop which doesn't show a preview of the picture but i can drag down here and look the photo's right there. I can open it. I can browse. I can click on this. It will just bring me to the application. There it is. And I can look at that photo. So you can push out uh, notifications that way. Great. Uh, so let's go back to their website. Let's go back to their, their homepage, which again is ntfy.sh. Uh, let's look at their GitHub page. Again, this is free and open source. Uh, when we look at this, let's make this full screen here real quick. It's under an Apache 2 and a GPL license. Uh, I haven't looked into what parts are under what. I know the Apache license, the Apache 2 license allows sub-licensing, which is different than relicensing. So I don't know how that works um, exactly. Uh, and then there's also uh, libraries that they use um, and resources that are under uh, different licenses. I also want to point out uh, how many stars this has how many forks it has watched, and then it's been around for a while. So this isn't just like a fly-by-night. This application has been around for a while, and it is beautiful. Uh, so yeah, you can look through there. There's places where you can uh, contact them if there's issues and chat with other people and also get the latest. Uh, probably, I'm assuming that they probably have the APK there, maybe, and then desktop and server. Oh yeah, look, they have it set up for all different. And now, uh, we're, again, we're going to go into a future video where we do a server, but there's also a client. Uh, we were using curl, but if we go back to their webpage, they have a, uh, 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 executable here. And I look into the documentations. I haven't messed with it yet. I'm pretty sure it's the same binary file for the server and client. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but I think you start it up and say start as a server or start as a client. Uh, but one thing you can look at here is, uh, well, if we were to click on uh, APIs, right, it will tell you. So let's say you don't like using the shell. You prefer HT, uh, HTTP or JavaScript or Go or Python uh, or, or even PowerShell or PHP uh, or to use their binary. So there's curl for the command line. There's using their uh, application, their binary uh, for sending messages and receiving messages. You can scroll through here. And once you click on one of these options, it changes the whole page. So you can see how to do all these different things, sending pictures and messages uh, through the shell there using uh, HTTP protocol. 
JavaScript, if you want to somehow do it inside, uh, I'm assuming a web page, or is this Node.js? I haven't even really looked at all the options. I've only messed with the command line options. Again, so they have all these options. So that's their API. So very easy. You could, you could write your own application for this if you just know how to do, you know, basic HTTP posts and whatnot. Uh, let's look at the documentation. So again, uh, you come through here and they have lots of examples. They have videos showing you how to do basic stuff. Uh, and I, I just recommend really going through all of this. Uh, there is documentation on installing and self-hosting. Again, if you're really concerned about privacy, you may want to set up your own host. Because again, right now, the way it works, again, as I said in the previous video, your topic is basically like your access key. So if you do something and someone's going to randomly guess, someone, anyone, there's no usernames and passwords, at least not by default. I don't know if there's any options for that anywhere. Um, but it's kind of like when you have a service that has like YouTube, you're watching this on YouTube, or you might be watching this on, on Odyssey, I don't know. Um, you have options when you're posting a video for it to be uh, private, uh, and then you can also post it as uh, where, so private, you can share it, but you're sharing it to someone with an account and they have to log in to access it. And then you have public where everyone can see it. And then you have unlisted. Uh, so this is kind of like unlisted. If someone has the URL, they can see it. Uh, so you can make it a big long string that no one's going to be able to guess. And again, you're still trusting their servers are secure, but again, you can host your own. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I, again, installation, I haven't done it yet for the server, but it seems pretty simple. There's binaries you download, untar it, copy it where it needs to go, make a directory and load the default configs, edit them, and then just start it up. Uh, so again, I haven't done that yet. And there's other ways you can do it. You can you can add in repositories. I'm going to go over that in the, the server-side stuff. They have Docker stuff. And then I guess the configuration configuration files or YAML files, uh, which is, I believe, how you say that, which is uh, kind of like a, a, a JSON, but instead of using braces, they use indentations, which I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, it seems super simple. Look over their page. There is a lot there to look over. It is very, very simple to use out of the box, but it also does a lot of other complex stuff. Uh, I think you can also customize it with colors. You can do dark themes, different colors for different notifications. I also uh, haven't seen it on their webpage, but I glanced over uh, another tutorial on another page where it looks like you can link it to other applications. So if you have other applications that accept push notifications, you can actually have this push the notifications to that, which seems a little weird to me, uh, but I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I do thank you for watching. Again, I, I'm just excited about this application because I've wanted to do push notifications uh, on my devices for so long, uh, on my mobile devices, and it, every time you try to look up something about it, they, again, they always t everything talks about Firebase this and Firebase that, and I didn't want to use Firebase. I want to do things myself, and now super simple, open source, easy way to do it. Again, I thank you for watching. Uh, films by Chris.com. That's Chris with the K. Uh, again, a patron of mine shared this with me. Uh, so I thank Mr. Newbie. And uh, if you want to be a patron, there's a link in the description of this video. Patreon.com forward slash MetalX1000. If you go to my webpage, uh, films by Chris.com. Again, Chris with a K. Uh, there's a support section. I accept Libre Pay. No one's ever given me any money in Libre Pay. You could be the first. I've been saying that for a long time. Uh, there's also PayPal if you prefer that. If you can't support financially, thank you for watching. That means a lot to me. Commenting, subscribing, liking, and sharing, those are all really important. It, it means a lot to me when my uh, videos get a lot of views. So you're helping with that, and that means a lot to me. Have a great day.